Vim, when they told you the collection is for you and you can do what you want, what did you imagine? Uh, it's perfect for me because I'm interested in everything. I also collect. Yes. So it's perfect. And I went to all the departments and I could speak to them. Every expert could speak with me. I was interested. The numismat was interested, was surprised that I knew so much. And uh, the guy from the 17th century painting was surprised that I also had these paintings, and etc., etc. So the idea is that you go to the to the depot and the, the cave and that you discover. The storage. Um, yeah, the storage. And that you discover uh, unbelievable things. But I discovered also fantastic people that were uh, forgotten because they're expert of something, you know, like Egyptian art. Or, and yeah, this museum has all these experts. Nobody employs them. And, and also you, um, you put some of your work from your collections. Yes, yes, because they didn't have a good collection really for 17th century. And what century? I had to help them. In what century? 17th century, I have nothing. Ah, okay. 18th century, a little bit. But then it's displayed. So Switzerland only got a bit rich in the 18th century. So you can see that they have not much. They have million objects, but the fourchette, the bouton, you know, they're not having... And in the exhibition, you, there's a, a taboo that taboo. you... You show the taboo that you destroy, you make all in the paintings in some... Now, of course, not of the collection, but you... And you copy, and so we don't know what is fake and what is not fake. It's true. What do you do that? I ask questions about value, about the hierarchy of things. For me, everything is things. So the title is L'Ordre des Shows. It's things. And I just commence à trier. I try to classify and try to make. I, how did I start? I started with small exhibitions in each room. And then later, I worried how this could be one narrative. Yeah. And um, what do you collect? Me? Yes, because you collect a lot. Each oh. time I see you, you speak about the paintings, the old masters that you buy, and which are so inexpensive and things like that. Yeah, I collect old masters, not because I like them the most. I, like, I cannot afford contemporary art. It's ridiculously expensive. Even your art? But, I know how much I, I pay to get it made, so I kind of think it's not so, so expensive, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel guilty. Why am I not paying more for a beautiful painting of the 17th century? And then I pay less than a young artist from Brooklyn? It's not correct. Mm. I mean, I'm speaking as a collector. I'm not speaking as an artist. But you are an artist. Yeah, they, they asked me as an artist, but they got a collector, a designer, they got everything. And uh, so, what do you have this uh, fascination for the small balls? For the small? The, the small balls. Small, they're not so small, Judith. <laughs> you call that small? You no. used to bigger so balls? So, the, the circuit, why do you have this uh, fascination for all this circuit of balls? I'm a boy, Judith. <laughs> I'm a boy. That's what boys do, right? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's many, many reasons, but the best reason for the museum, I can tell you, is they're going to have an enormous public. People who have never been in the museum, who don't know where it is, they're going to go on TikTok and Instagram and they all want to see my ball track. <laughs> and uh, because when you were a kid, you were fascinated by that, right? Every kid, no? I don't know. No, every male kid for sure. But you can't stereotype like this anymore, but it's a pretty... It's, it's like something that boys do, you know? Uh, marbles and letting them run and this technical thing. Uh, I have a lot of uh, 
it, it, I mean, the whole track was about doing something that, and ignoring the arts. It's like you would ask the electrician, yeah, we need electric here, electric here and there's all these beautiful fresques from Giotto, and he does now, and he just puts his line, oh no, what did you do? This type of thing, like in the catalog, catalog will be like the best version of the exhibition because everything I could not borrow, everything I couldn't get, ah. everything that was big, everything that I couldn't uh, make travel is going to be in the book. And it's, if you see the book, you will be, you will understand everything with all the words. And why did you cut, why did you cut the statue here to put some turning boil in it? it? I didn't cut anything, I just had it made that way. Yes, yeah. but you, you imagine a shape and you cut it, no? In I your did, imagination. I put a ball track in it, yeah. Why? Actually, I did not do a ball track in it. I, I wrote a program that does the work for me. Ah. Actually, probably first, a first ever in arts. We have a, a, a app or a robot or program, how do you call it, a computer? It's a inter, in artificial intelligence? Somehow, yeah. Yeah, ah. we had it written. We had it written by some group of experts. We paid a lot of money one time, but now I can make 10, 20, 30 sculptures. It's only the production cost. But what does it mean that she's cut like that? Uh, it's beautiful because this uh, computer does it better. It has no emotions. It doesn't see nose or eyes or... No, but for you, why'd you cut it? Why'd you cut her? I didn't cut her. I had it made like this, Judith. <laughs> it makes me think about Dali. Yes, Dali, Dali could be in it. But Gordon, we are showing Fishley and Weiss. Uh, the love, the thing uh, of Fishley and Weiss. We are showing uh, Gordon Mata Clark. We are showing um, uh, Fontana and Dada Maino. It's all about tunnels and holes and drilling. You have to be Swiss to understand it, Judith. <laughs> But you are Belgian, you are not. No, 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 no. I'm Swiss. I'm Swiss. Now Don't you are worry. Swiss. Soon, soon. That's why we are doing a good exhibition. I want to be Swiss. <laughs> They are neutral, you know. It's amazing. And so, did did some last question? Did someone did something change in your mind since this exhibition? Do you, do you have new project? Do you imagine something new? I think more museums will ask me. Museums with old masters. These museums are already in crisis. And. I've been already invited for the Louvre, Rodin Museum, the Pushkin. I think more of these museums will come. And they will see that guy is no irony. With me, there's no irony. I'm not joking. I really love all these objects. I'm sincerely interested in everything, which has been sometimes a problem. In other ways, it's an, you shouldn't be interested in everything. And shall you show your collection? Uh, what collection? Your collection of old masters, of coins. A few, a few. I had to help them, Judith, really. We can go and see. I have on each wall two paintings. Mine, and then a not so good one. Really, you can yeah, have Yeah, I saw the, yeah. The, the young lady and the guy taking milk from That's the restaurant. Charité Romaine. Oui. Yeah, they have, well, they have a, a very small one as well that is very good, but their big one is so ugly. Merci, Vim. Yeah.